Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to make this video really quick before I finish up with this car. Uh, it's a 2012 BMW X1 and I had to replace two calipers. Uh, tried just bleeding the standard way, didn't work, very spongy. Uh, I hear people have that same issue, even just changing pads sometimes. Um, so there is uh, a procedure that you do need a, a scan tool that can communicate with uh, the ABS system. Um, but aside from that, they're also saying, and I, that's why I'm making the video, because everyone's saying you need the pressure bleeder unit that you hook up to the reservoir. Uh, what this does, puts pressure into there. So I guess as you're activating the system, and it's supposed to be around uh, two bar or so. Uh, it's not expensive even. I think I saw it on Amazon for like less than a hundred bucks. But I work on a variety of cars. I've never needed one yet. I hate that they're making things, you know, more and more complex like this. Like, even for the cooling system, they say you need, you know, pressure bleeders. And I don't know. I always pull it off without one. But in this case, see, oh, yeah, I, I tried a trick with my friend, and it seemed to work. So I thought I'd make a video if this helps anybody that they're in the same situation. As long as you got the scan tool, but uh, you don't have the actual uh, unit to attach to the reservoir. So basically, we're just going to be holding down the brake instead to create that pressure um with the engine running you want to do it with the engine running because uh the vacuum pump's going and the booster gets you a lot more pressure than you're going to get just uh, doing it uh, manually with the engine off i don't have the engine running right now just because my door is closed i don't want to hook up the exhaust pipes but uh yeah in your case when you do this definitely with the engine running um so I'm just using an Autel uh, MS906. Uh, even the cheaper ones should be able to do this function, no problem. Uh, in my case, it's under service. Uh, chassis, traction control, brake bleeder routine. Second person required, that's true. My friend left already, but... And even here, right away, they tell you connect the brake fluid replacement device and switch online the fill pressure do not exceed two bar uh, fully rinse brake system but yeah it's common sense um attach venting bottle yeah so this is now they're talking you know once you're at the actual calipers on the bleeder nipple so but we're gonna start with always go right rear uh, left rear uh right front and then left front last uh, we ended up going around two times just to get a little bit better but i just test drove and it's perfect so um so again engine running and with the engine running whoever's in here doing this part you hold the brake down uh don't have to hold the crazy hard but you know hard enough and let's say we're going to start with the rear right so somebody is obviously at the wheel at the bleeder nipple but first we're just going to activate uh, the sequence so while i'm holding the pedal and you're going to feel the pedal do a lot of weird things the idea is though don't release your pressure off of it because we're mimicking uh, that tool that's supposed to create pressure in the reservoir so then you just continue it's going to do a lot of weird things i don't know if you can hear that or not probably not it's pumping back and forth opening valves closing the valves brings the pedal right back up Okay, so activation completed. Now, this is important. Um, I'm still holding the brake pedal down. The, the instructions would actually tell you to release, pump, and then push down. But after that, again, we don't have that you know, pressure uh, system attached to the reservoir. So you are doing this with your foot on the brake pedal. So I'm still holding the pressure down, even though the sequence is complete. Now my friend would be at the back right uh, wheel and opening the valve and that would be the first one after that yeah then pump the brake maybe two three four times like one two three hold and do that about five or six times and that's it and like again in my case go to selection so then we would go to uh left rear which is f1 on here and do the same thing Keep holding the brake, don't let go. Whatever you feel with the pedal moving up and down because I don't know if I can really show you guys. Maybe you saw that. 
And that's it. And I'm still holding the pedal. So now on the left rear, uh, whoever's working there, open the bleeder. Obviously the pedal will travel down, close it, and then pump and just bleed. Sorry, I'm just trying to aim my light there. It's on my head. And just try to bleed. You know, normally you hold, someone opens the valve, pedal goes down. I mean, you can find videos about that all day long. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this to show that it can be done without the tool to put into the reservoir. Um, the last thing is if you actually don't have a scan tool, but this is kind of hard to do because you kind of need the right conditions to make it happen. Uh, bleed manually the best you can. And now we have a lot of snow, so that actually, that's actually very helpful. Drive it so you floor it like you floor it and slam the brakes. ABS kicks in. Uh, it's, it'll push out oh, quite a bit of air. I mean, it's, it's a time consuming process cause you got to go out there, get the ABS pump to kick in a few times. And then again, jack it up, do the bleed, maybe do it another two, three times. I don't know. Like it's going to be different for every situation, but in my case with the scan tool, after doing a manual bleed that didn't work, went around twice doing it this way, problem solved. Break was like new. So I hope this helps anybody.